on there folks good evening it is earthmaster here checking in on the live stream on this tuesday august 10th 2021 about 7 35 p.m west coast time the latest quake a 4.3 in a series of earthquakes here north of japan in an area where uh, i've been kind of watching for quite a long time here for uh, some significant release we'll talk about that here in just a little bit uh, let's go ahead and get a right smack dab into the uh, USGS map here. Shows the uh, latest earthquakes, 2.5 and above over the last 24 hours. Uh, movement along the west coast as far as 2.5 and above goes has been pretty minimal. We've seen a little bit of earthquake into the Sierra Madre uh, mountains here in Mexico and also around the Pecos, Texas area. Uh, but nothing really significant in that area of the world. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the movement here along the Japan Trench and the Kamchatka Trench area. Quite a bit of movement. And we've seen some deep earthquake activity down dip downstream of this subduction zone. This is all new movement. This has been uh, relatively quiet, a rel relatively quiet area over the last couple months. Of course, we did see that swarm of activity that kind of kicked off a earthquake watch in the Japan area, just here, just uh, right along the Japan Trench. Had quite a few fives, quite a few fours. Uh, I think a 5.8 was the maximum magnitude in the uh, in that swarm sequence there off the coast of Japan. That has since died down. And we're looking at, uh, well, some further movement up north, upstream here, but also down dip downstream of the subduction zone. So paying very close attention here to the trench area uh, north of Japan. And if you watch my videos, I kind of kind of pointed out here, this bend to about right here south of Tokyo uh, for a potential next mega quake. We'll see what happens here. But definitely seen some activity ramping up really, uh, uh, really quickly over the last 24 hours there. Uh, some movement into the area um, of uh, uh, Myanmar, right? Hopefully I pronounced that correctly, 4.8 today uh, over the last 24 hours some movement up into China as well and also over here towards uh, India area along this plate boundary so, seeing a little bit of movement here with a uh, 3.6 further up north into parts of Afghanistan we're seeing uh, a couple fours kicking off at some very very deep levels 170 kilometers and 266 kilometers uh, for that pair of earthquakes there's some deep movement right well inland a Mediterranean looking pretty quiet uh, we did have south of uh, Yemen a little earthquake of 5.1 10 kilometers along the uh, this little fracture zone here pretty uh pretty well defined right you can't get any well defined than that uh, Gulf of Aden Uh, some movement earlier today in the mid-Atlantic range in this little rift zone of 5.1. Let's see what's going on in the Puerto Rico area as we bring down the magnitudes here. Looks like uh, a little bit of movement. Southwest corner of the Puerto Rico area. The Puerto Rico Trench, quiet for now. No buildup of activity there. Guatemala, south of Guatemala, uh, near uh, El Salvador region, a 4.5. 85 kilometers down dip downstream of the middle American trench right here. Uh, let's see, working our way up north into Southern California. Looks like a typical Southern California day, right? San Jacinto Fall area. Not a whole lot of movement along the San Andreas. Just to the west, yes, a little swarm here within the uh, uh, plate boundary, but nothing really significant. Uh, moving up here to the Ridgecrest area. Typical aftershock sequences years later around the Ridgecrest area. And uh, Mammoth Lakes looks pretty quiet. Long Valley Super Volcano, very quiet there for the meantime. And uh, Antelope Valley areas up here to the uh, north. Fairly, uh, looks like it's calming down, right? We've seen a significant drop off of aftershock sequences there. Um, near Colville. 
Uh, let's see what else we got. There's not a whole lot, folks. Not a whole lot going on here. A little bit of earthquake movement south of Mount Lassen. Little 1.6 near Mineral. Of course, the fire activity ramping up, heading into the Lassen Volcanic uh, National Park area. Not good. Not good at all. Pacific Northwest. What do we got going on? A little bit of movement further. Um, closer. I, I guess I could say closer to the sawtooth fault system here that's this little line fracture zone here a fault area that's uh, capable of producing some mid sixes maybe an upper 6.0 in the Idaho region historically that is seen uh, quite a few twos built up over the last 24 hours in that region uh, Yellowstone National Park not looking too active, at least according to the USGS map here. And looking at the raw data from the seismograph stations. This is the uh, overview of Yellowstone National Park. And the, their uh, individual seismographs look pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot going on here, folks. No magma movement, no, no doom and gloom, right? I keep saying that. There's no doom and gloom at Yellowstone National Park. Everything was looking pretty average far as GPS data and gas emissions here in the park. Uh, let's check out the trimmer map here real quick. Movement into the northern end of the Cascadia, Vancouver Island, and also movement down to the south here in southern Oregon. 135 epicenters between the two locations. Uh, that shows slippage and uh, trimmer down dip downstream of the Juan de Fuca plate and the North American plate interaction there. Juan de Fuca plate subducting underneath the North American plate. Of course, adding uh, tremendous strain and buildup uh, upstream along the Cascadia Mega Thrust subduction zone area. Uh, let's see what else. There is a super, well, is it really a supernova? But there's a Nova. This article was put out uh, yesterday. A rare, unaided eye Nova is visible in the sky. That means without binoculars, without a telescope, you can see a Nova towards the southern end of the sky, which is pretty cool. I'm going to have to check this out tonight, pending the smoke is not super thick here in the valleys of California. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Looks like this thing uh, is called a recurrent nova. It's rare uh, in the whole Milky Way galaxy. Looks like only seven star th systems are known to produce su such explosions. Uh, the last nova explosion was back in 2006, so it's been quite a few years. Um, at a fifth magnitude uh, star or visible um, image in the sky, the current outburst is visible to the unaided eye. Binoculars or telescope will allow you to see it with ease. Look south after sunset. I'll have to check that out a little bit later tonight, folks. So just a very quick special announcement. I am doing a brand new giveaway. And this giveaway includes cash. Now, who doesn't want cash, right? Who does not want cash? So over the past 10 years or so, I've been building up a pretty significant piggy bank. Piggy bank, right? We all, we all had piggy banks as a kid, right? But this piggy bank is pretty big. <laughs> it's really big. And uh, I've been throwing quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, all my pocket change into this thing for over the past 10 years. And um, I want to give it away. I want to give it away to a lucky person. Uh, the person that guesses closest to the amount in the piggy bank will get check, money, order, cash. I, I probably won't send cash going to be a check or money order through the mail for that specific amount that they get that they uh they won so um look for the video coming out here within the next couple days i'm going to do a video 
um, showing what I have it in, the dimensions of the uh, container, the weight of the container, and um, and yeah, and all you have to do is guess in the comments. Um, one guess, please. I will not accept uh, multiple guesses from the uh, uh, from YouTube channel. Uh, multiple names. It's got to be one guess per channel, and uh, that that's the way it is. It cannot be any brand spanking new channels. We get, we gotta watch the brand new channel limit. But look for that video coming up here real soon. Ten years worth of coin buildup, and I. I guarantee you it's probably over 15 pounds because I can I can't really lift it up with my hand it's got to be over 15 pounds um, so yeah look for that coming up here within the next couple days a 10 year piggy bank coin buildup giveaway I mean it's cash it's money and uh, you can win this if you get closest to the amount that the uh, piggy bank holds so it's uh, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be legit, and uh, I can't I can't wait to give this away. It's been building up uh, for quite a while, and I, I was looking at it today, and I thought, man, what am I gonna do with this? Am I gonna continue to build this up for 20 years until I'm like 80 or 90? Well, I'm not that old, but you know. And I thought, you know what? It would be really cool to give this away to one of my lucky subscribers out here. There's gonna be some rules, a little bit of regulations here. You gotta be a subscriber. And uh, we'll go over more of that in a video here within the next couple days. So look forward to that. Uh, once again, um, I do want to uh, announce that I added a new moderator onto the channel. Uh, the name is uh, um, Cindy Collins. I think she will be a great benefit here to the channel. She's been recommended by quite a few folks. I got quite a few emails. Uh, requesting that she uh, be a uh, a uh, an added moderator here onto the channel, so I went ahead and did that. I think uh, I think I made the right choice there. So welcome, Cindy Collin Collins, to the channel. All right, folks. Um, yeah, man. I tell you what. I hope uh, I hope I'm able to see this Nova tonight. We'll we'll see what see how it plays out. If I get some good pictures, I will post it up on my social media pages and maybe even make a video here on the channel. We'll see how that plays out. So, uh, I think I covered everything. I don't know. I got to get to my barbecue. It's kind of cooking outside. Got you know, you know me and my barbecues. I'm always barbecuing. And we got some barbecue tri-tip on the grill tonight. So, we'll chat you guys in a little bit. Have a great night.